Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some layering combinations that I've been playing around with this spring. Um, I don't normally layer my perfumes that often. Um, it's something that I've kind of been a little more curious about as I've seen other people doing it on YouTube. Um, every once in a while, I think once I started buying Kayali fragrances, I got into a little bit more because they were meant to be layered. So I have uh, seven different combinations here. I'm going to start off with the kind of maybe deepest, darkest one for spring. So I currently have Amouage um, uh, Portrayal Woman on my tray for this month, um, kind of testing it out in warm weather. And I wore it the other day with Anisio's Oud for Greatness. And I think when I had put on the Amouage um, Portrayal, I had wanted something, uh, I wanted more depth to it, I think, but I didn't want to make it too dark of a fragrance. And I thought this was great because while this is a really bold, in your face, beast mode fragrance, it also does have an airiness to it. Um, so the woody facets plus the saffron and lightness of this fragrance mixed really well with the tobacco and the, I think there's jasmine in here plus um, Elemi, so there's like a resinous quality to it, but I found that these two just mixed really well together. Um, I didn't spray one over the other. They're both really strong, so I just kind of picked a couple spots to spray each one and just let them kind of mix together in the air, and I really enjoyed that. I'm going to play around with it some more because I've only tried that combo once or twice, but I really, really enjoyed it. Okay, the next combination I have, actually I still need to have the U for Greatness up here, is I've seen this combination all over the place and I'm sure you have too. This is the Oud for Greatness with uh, Baccarat. So they both share that saffron note. They both have that light kind of airy vibe to it. So if you ever wanted to take this and again add like a really deep woody um, vibe to it, then these two pair really well together. And so what I do for um, this one is I just spritz like one or two sprays. This is really strong. So I just pick a couple of pulse points to spritz on the Oud for Greatness. And then what I do is actually just spritz this wherever I want to and directly on top. And it smells so beautiful, very intoxicating, lasts all day, um, very like, I, I don't even want to say boss lady because this is these are both unisex fragrances, but it does give off boss vibes. Um, so this is a great one that I've worn out a couple of times, usually like for going out to dinner. Um, and because the weather is nice and warm, but it's not too hot yet and there's like still a breeze in the air, I thought these worked really, really well and I have enjoyed them each time I've worn them. The next combo I have, should have left that out there too, is actually the Baccarat with uh, Dior's Pure Poison. So I kind of, I, I don't even remember how I stumbled across this um, combination. I know one morning that when this was on my tray, maybe last month or two months ago, I can't remember, but I had woken up, I, you know, got ready, spritzed this on, it smelled great, wore it for a couple of hours, and then I was kind of in the mood for Baccarat, so I went and grabbed it and spritzed it over on top, and they just mixed together so well. So Pure Poison has um, white florals, I believe there's like jasmine, gardenia, maybe tuberose, orange blossom. It also has some citrus in the opening and some woody notes um, in the base, maybe musk as well. Um, so this is a really nice, pretty, easy to reach for, clean, out of the shower, soapy type of fragrance. Um, but with that musk in there, it definitely has like a sultry side to it when the dry down starts coming through. And because of the like, I think the airiness of Baccarat, so it's sweet, but not gourmand. And it's, uh, you know, airy and light, but it also has those woody notes to it. They just really mixed well. Like they, they both have the note of jasmine in there. They both have woody notes in the base. So I'm actually wearing it today to remind myself of how it smelled because I was like, oh, I'm not sure about that combination, but I actually really enjoy it. 
because you do still get that nice fresh clean out of the shower feeling from the pure poison but then you get that kind of heightened classy um, elegance from the baccarat on top so I just spritz this everywhere all over on my skin and then I put a little bit of this on my neck and then and some of my pulse points on my arms and this is a combination that I do remember um, lasted a long time because this lasts on me for a long time and this lasts all day so I've already been wearing this for a little while and it just smells fantastic so that's definitely a combination I will continue to reach for Okay, the next one I have is the Armani uh, Privé's Rouge Malachite. Um, so this is a white floral. It has a little bit of an herbal kind of green touch in the opening. It has some tropical notes. I believe there's a Lang Lang in here. Um, and I think there's amber in the base. It's a very beautiful, creamy um, white floral. It's I've worn it through a couple different seasons um, and I was recommended to try it once it warms up because it really brings out the tropical facets, which it does. Um, very beautiful fragrance. And I was wearing it when it was on my tray and realized that I you know, felt like I was missing something that particular day. Sometimes I wear it on its own, um, and but I hadn't really mixed it with, I hadn't thought to mix it with anything. It seemed a little sacrilegious because this is such a fancy, expensive perfume. Um, but I wanted something, I don't know, just extra on top. And I have the uh, this little sample of Meliora from Parfums de Marley. And so I thought, eh, you know, let's spritz a little on top. I just did it in one spot to see how I would like it. Meliora is a a. a fruity floral, I believe, scent. Um, I don't have the full bottle in my collection. It wasn't something that ever really wowed me when I sampled it. It smells nice. It smelled perfectly nice. I just didn't feel like I would wear it enough to justify spending all that money on a full bottle. But I spritzed a little bit on top and wow, that combination was fantastic. It just adds this juicy green um, kind of berry flavor on top of it. Um, so I've actually done that combination a couple of times and it's fantastic. So good in fact that I now have Meliora in my shopping cart and I want to buy a bottle because not to say I won't ever wear this alone on its own, but when I smell this now, it makes me think of Meliora and I want them together. It's so good. Okay. And then the next combination I have is actually with Rouge Malachite and Kayali's Deja Vu White Flower. You can see here that it's almost done. It's in my project pan. It's it's not going to last much longer. Um, it's starting to get hard to spray. I have to like tilt the bottle in special directions. But these are both white floral fragrances where this one is a little bit tropical. It's got a little bit of a freshness to it. This one is very juicy and fruity. Um, and then it has, you know, some nice like vanilla and um, I don't know if it's cashmere in or but some nice uh, woody notes in the base. And so I thought, well, okay, these are white florals. They share a lot of similar notes. Let's go ahead and just give it a try. So I wore this as a base all over. This is one that you can overspray and get away with it. So I spritzed this all over, almost like a body splash. I let it dry down for about 10 minutes and then I went over and spritzed like my neck, my wrists, um, in the inner corner of my elbow um, with this one. And also another beautiful combination because you get the kind of, kind of classy, elegant, you know, tropical, lush white florals from the Rouge Malachite, but then you get this really addictive, juicy, fruity, and sultry from the base notes of the Deja Vu white uh, flower, and they were just a great combination together. Um, so I'm really glad I started playing with combinations because it's, again, not something I would have done before. And while I love these both on their own, they smell really fantastic together. So let me put this over here. Okay, so that's it for the Rouge. The next combination I have is actually, again, with the Deja Vu White Flower and Eden's Juicy Apple. So I just got a little 10 mil bottle of this one because I had heard some mixed reviews 
And while I love apple fragrances, the way people were describing it, I didn't know if I would love it. So I just got the little, the little one during a sale. Um, I spritzed it on. It smells great. It smells nice, but I was like, I'm probably not going to buy a full bottle of this. If I ever go through, maybe I'll buy another little one. But one night I was in the mood for deja vu. So I spritzed that on all over the place, but I was like, Ugh, I want it to have something more to it. I couldn't figure out what it was. So I was looking through my fragrances to see if anything would pop out at me note wise that I wanted. And I thought, oh yeah, I want some more berries and some apple on top of this. So I spritzed this, had spritzed this all over as a base. And then I just went and spritzed a little bit on top um, on one arm to see how that would smell. Amazing. I smelled delicious. I could not stop smelling myself. I'm sure I'm sure people were concerned when they saw me sniffing my arm like a fiend, um, but it was a great combination. So now, again, this is not still not one that I think I would just wear on its own, but if I wear any fragrance and I want that kind of bright, juicy fruit um, topping to go with it, this is what I reach for. And these two, great together. So when I go through this little Tamel bottle, I will be getting the bigger 50 ml because I know now that I have this combination, I'm going to want to wear it quite a bit. It's perfect for probably all seasons um, because this is a great signature scent year round, but definitely for spring and summer. That's what I've been wearing it the most. Okay. And the last combination I have here, I discovered last month when Cassili was on my um, perfume tray. So this is Kaeli's Vanilla 28. So I spritz this on all over and then I wait a few minutes for it to dry down and then I go and spritz an equal amount of the Deja Vu um, all over on top of it everywhere. Let that dry down for a few minutes and then I come and top it off with some spritzes of the Cassili. This is a really beautiful, I think it's an amber floral fragrance. There's um, plum, there's, oh, I can't even remember the notes now. I think there's, there might be ylang, ylang in here as well. I think there's like a very tropical aspect to it. Let me give it a smell. Yeah, it's just sweet. It's juicy. It's, it's a little bit sultry, but something in here really reminded me of the deja vu. And so I thought, okay, I wanted to add in the kind of addictive, boozy type of quality from these two fragrances to this base. And this was my favorite combination to reach for last month. I wore that so often. Um, I actually, I don't, you can't see it, but I put a dent in this bottle because I wore it several times. Even after I took it off the tray and started the new month, I think I've still worn this combination two more times and we're only a few days into the new month. Um, so I'd have to say so far out of all the combinations that I've tried, and I haven't experimented with many because I'm still new to the whole layering thing, um, this has been my favorite for sure. So I'm really glad that I have a 100 ml backup bottle of this one already because I don't think I'm going to stop wearing this until probably never. I think this would be a great year round combination because you can wear these year round. Um, I don't know about this in the summertime. I haven't tried it yet, but I've liked it in the fall. I've liked it in the spring. So I can only imagine with the combination of all three of them together, it probably would make a really great signature combination for all seasons in most areas. Okay, so here are the fragrances that I've been playing around with layering um, with for the spring season. Again, these have all been really great so far. If you have any recommendations for me, please leave them down below. Um, there's others that I've tried. I'm actually going to make another one for summer because I, last year I did do a lot of uh, layering with body splashes and perfumes and lotions. So I will definitely make another video for that um, probably in the next month or two once it starts to get hot outside. Um, other than that, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.